Today we are at Greenwood Furnace State Park and our plan today is to sample the east branch of Standing Stone Creek upstream of the lake. Um, the purpose of our sampling today is to reevaluate the wild trout population to make sure they're providing the kind of angling that we expect them to do and the anglers expect them to. I'll have a crew of uh, two others besides myself. They're going to actually be doing the process of sampling. We use electrofishing. We're going to shock what is about 360 meters, which is about uh, 360 yards of stream. And it uh, temporarily stuns the fish long enough for us to capture them. Then uh, we can take our measurements and look at them for any anomalies possible and return them immediately to the creek today. This is a stream bred brook trout. State fish, couldn't get no better looking. And I said we were gonna get both brooks and browns. Well, here's the brown, same size. That's the brown trout. We were here uh, the last time in, I believe, 1993, and we found a pretty good wild trout population. That's a pretty good trout. One of the things we're curious about today is to see if that wild trout population improved to possibly class A status and then um, hopefully add it on our class A list. Well, we find uh, wild trout, even if we document a few, um, it increases the water quality protection standards that are placed on the stream. Uh, so that's a, a big environmental conservation purpose for what we do. Might be another one down deep. It's always uh, neat to see what we come across in different waters. That is a white sucker. Creek chubs and long nose days, black nose day species uh, are co very common. These are uh, slimy sculpins. And if you've ever fly fish, and if you've ever heard of the fly, muddler minnow, that's the animal that that's trying to imitate. Yeah, whenever we come up on a nice pool in a stream like this where it has some depth, larger boulders, undercut banks, woody debris, typically hold a lot of fish. There, did that surprise you? That's a nice trout, about 13 inches. I think people were usually always surprised by this work. There's usually always surprises that uh, anglers don't really expect to see. There'll be larger fish than they, than they expect in this creek and there'll probably be a few more than they actually expect in this creek. Things are at least as good as, as they were in 1993, if not even better. The uh, actual management reports would be available uh, as early as this winter. Uh, our job is to uh, create angling opportunities and to protect those areas where angling opportunities are occurring. That's the cost of your license. This is the kind of work that it's supporting.